Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 0 win over Welling United in the National League South. A great result, Adam. How'd you feel after it? No, it was, yeah. Um, you know, full credit to the players. I thought um, the response after Saturday was um, was excellent. I thought we, we played some really good stuff. We was uh, patient. We got in some really good areas. I thought first half um, it didn't quite have the numbers in the box um, when we got into them areas. Um, so that's something for us to look at. But I thought it was a good performance first half. Although we didn't get the rewards of the goals, it, it was good and maybe warm out a bit with our play. Um, and on a hot hot evening, I thought we uh, yeah. Just took advantage of that second half. Um, tried to get the fullbacks to stay a little bit wider. Um, second half, and you know, it, it seemed to work for us. But like I say, can't take nothing away from the players. I thought we was all come away really disappointed. We had a good following at Braintree, and you know, to lose um, by that much was 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 disappointing. And um, yeah, like the response that the players have given us today has has been excellent. And yeah, we're hoping. We can we can back that up Saturday. It's going to be another tough ask, but and hopefully the fans that come out tonight on a Tuesday night, uh, I think it's like 600, uh, 1600. So hopefully they can come out and full force on Saturday and get behind us again. Yeah, it's an incredible crowd on Tuesday night, isn't it? Yeah, um, it has to be the same Saturday. Talking of the wide players, there Bailey Smith today on that right hand side. He was a real handful today. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I mean. You know, I just spoke to him before the game and said, "Look, just go and and play and be confident and enjoy what you do." And um, you know, I don't think he's as pretty on the eye maybe as as a Danny Cashman or a Ricky Aguirre or you know some other certain players, even like uh, Luke um, on the other side and Nicky Wheeler. But you know, he's he's a tough player to play against. I bet their fullback didn't enjoy playing against him today. Um, you know, he's won a penalty. I thought could have won us a penalty again on Saturday. His, his pace and his power is. Um, you know, his, his best weapon and he needs to use that to his advantage and, and when he does and he opens up and you know, there's, there's, there's no one stopping him really and you know, I'm hoping, a bit disappointed he, he didn't score the goal at the end, um, I thought that would have given him a huge belief in himself and, and lots of confidence but you know, I thought he's a real handful tonight and um, he's got to take a lot from that and hopefully we can, we can get the best out of him and start playing and join this football game. He was involved in both the goals. He uh, wins the penalty, as you mentioned there, with the Oli converge, because of course it's Oli Pierce. Of course he's going to deliver from a spot. And uh, Ricky Aguilar with a phenomenal strike as well. Uh, took us through those two goals. No, well, yeah, just like Bailey, just you know, driving into the box and like I say, he's got so much pace and power, it's, it's tough to deal with. And I thought he had one on Saturday that he didn't get. Um, you know, looking that back, I think the lads caught him and, you know, not like say when you get him in there, so I wouldn't like to be a defender uh, coming up against that, and you know he's got got to take a lot of belief from that. Uh, and yeah, like I say, um, we didn't use Miki today. Um, we come on at half time on the weekend. Ollie was on the bench again today, um, and has come on an impact. And um, you know it's a it's a real real unbelievable squad, and they're all good good people in there, and it's it's tough. You know the worst part about. This job is is leaving players out, um, but you know I think it's good, healthy competition, and we, we need that if we're going to compete at, at all levels. Um, you know we've got a really tough FA Cup game coming up as well. Um, we want to do better in that, but we never seem to get any luck with the draw on that one. Real real tough game, but yeah, we've, we've got a squad now. I think that um, compete on on all levels, and, and that's what we're gonna got to intend to do. And uh, speaking of the, the squad and that depth you've got in attacking areas, Danny Cashman came straight in for his debut today. How do you think he got on tonight? I think you'd like to see um, you know, what a good player he's going to be for us. Um, I think it really suits how we play. Um, you know, He's dropping in, getting on the ball, he's brave to, 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 to stay on it and make passes and you know he's, he's got that bit of sharpness as well and I think again another one that's you know, only going to get better. He hasn't played too much men's football, um, you know, so he's got to get up to the speed of it, but, you know, him, Bailey, good young players, they're local players, and, um, you know, I'm sure we've got um, the best is, is yet to come from them too, and, you know, I thought that was both excellent today.